Yes, the curtain came down on the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Paralympic Games with Sunday evening's closing ceremony. But the success of the nation's first Winter Paralympics will be remembered for a number of special reasons. From record ticket sales to South Korea's first gold medal, our Lee sing takes a look back at a game that exceeded everyone's expectations. After a successful 2018 Winter Olympics a month earlier, the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Paralympics have gone down as the most successful Winter Paralympics in history in terms of ticket sales, with more than 343,000 tickets sold. It shatters the previous record of 316,000 tickets sold at the 2014 Sochi Winter Paralympics. But the competing delegations were a part of history as well, as a record number of delegations won a medal at this year's Winter Paralympics, with 26 nations out of 49 earning a spot on the podium. In addition, a record 20 nations won gold, three more than the previous record set in 1998 and 2002. The 2018 Winter Paralympics in Pyeongchang also saw three nations make their debut, including North Korea, who was represented by Ma Yu Char and Kim Jong Hyun in cross country skiing after granted last minute entries by the International Paralympic Committee. Georgia and Tajikistan also made their Winter Paralympics debut as part of the 49 delegations competing for 10 days. For the host nation, South Korea's goal of winning the nation's first Winter Paralympics gold was achieved thanks to Paranordic skier Shin Hee Hyun in the men's 7.5 km sitting cross country skiing event. Combined with Shin's bronze from an earlier event and South Korea's first medal, a bronze in the ice sledge hockey competition, South Korea won a total of three medals, its most ever in a single Winter Paralympics. With the Paralympic flag handed over to Beijing, the next host of the Winter Paralympics, the Paralympians' achievements in 2018 will immortalize into the history books. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.